Are you ready to experience technology that feels like magic? If so, then get ready for the latest Apple VR feature that is taking the world by storm. This innovative technology is breaking boundaries and providing users with an immersive experience that will leave them in awe. The Apple VR feature sounds like magic because it allows users to interact with virtual environments in ways that were once only imagined in science fiction. Whether you're a gamer, an artist, or just someone who loves to explore new worlds, this feature is sure to captivate your senses and leave you wanting more. So what makes this Apple VR feature so special? Let's dive in and find out. Welcome to Zone Tech. In this video, we are going to talk about this Apple VR feature sounds like magic. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Apple is attempting to enter a shaky industry with a pricey device. Apple's 1,000-plus member technological development group has been working on the project for more than seven years, and the corporation expects it to generate additional money this year as sales growth is expected to slow. Virtual reality, however, has proven to be difficult for the biggest names in technology. Headsets are currently considered niche products, despite predictions that the sector would surpass $100 billion by the end of the decade. Meta has lost billions on its endeavors. Apple wants to provide something fresh to the market. According to those familiar with the concept, the eye and hand tracking features will be a key selling point for the gadget, which is anticipated to cost around twice as much as competitors' products. Advanced FaceTime-based video conferencing and meeting spaces will be among its main features. Also, the headgear will be able to display immersive video material, act as an additional display for a connected Mac, and imitate several iPhone and iPad features. Hopefully, the Apple VR AR headset will launch later this year, maybe as soon as the WWDC 2023 event in June. Yet, a new patent application may have just revealed how continuity would use the mixed reality headset's full potential. The European Patent Office recently issued a patent application for multi-device continuity for use with extended reality XR systems. According to Patently Apple, the continuity feature, which enables customers to operate seamlessly between Apple products such as the iPhone 14 Pro and the most recent 14-inch MacBook Pro, is the focus of this patent. The most recent application of this technology was in the continuity camera, a feature that lets users utilize their iPhone as a webcam, which Apple unveiled in Mac OS Ventura. A function within continuity called handoff appears to be the main focus of Apple's most recent patent application. Users can begin a job on one Apple device and continue it on another by using handoff. The applications for Apple's mixed reality headset are extremely stunning, however, this capability is presently compatible with a variety of Apple apps. Even while it is said that the mixed reality headset won't require an iPhone to function, Apple wants it to communicate with all of your Apple devices, according to the patent application. Apple describes a situation in which a user wearing a VR AR headset examines an email on their iPhone and then uses a hand motion to drag a virtual overlay of that email from the iPhone display onto a larger virtual display inside the headset. Yet handoff's capabilities don't end there. With only a hand gesture or simply a glance, a person wearing the VR AR headset may switch the music playing on their iPhone to a HomePod. Hand gestures appear to be a crucial element of the controller-free mixed reality Apple headset. Even if it takes a generation or two for mixed reality to become affordable, if the Apple VR AR headset can accomplish this degree of interconnection, it may be the game-changing innovation that mixed reality needs to become widely accepted. Apple's AR VR headset may include a magical text input system. Apple aims to provide a gadget with technology and software that challenges the capabilities of rivals like the MetaQuest Pro and Microsoft's HoloLens 2 with its long rumored AR VR headgear, which may be called Reality Pro. According to reports, the device might cost up to $3,000, making it too pricey to be popular with the general public. But it may herald a computer revolution that displaces the ubiquitous iPhone. Others believe that as technology advances, Headsets will transform into thin AR glasses and possibly contact lenses. The first-generation AR headset will be loaded with several cameras and sensors to meet Apple's high expectations. High-definition images will be shown on the dual displays. Wearers will be able to smoothly transition from virtual to augmented reality thanks to a dial like the digital crown on the Apple Watch. 
the device, with a waste-mounted battery pack capable of up to two hours of operation at a time, is said to be powered by Apple's newest M2 processor. The alleged in-air typing function makes me think of a complex virtual user interface that has been shown in sci-fi films for decades. The reality, at least as it stands now, appears to be less remarkable. The current test release of XROS, the headset's operating system, enables Apple's first mixed reality to function independently of the iPhone, according to German's Sunday edition power on the newsletter. You may therefore configure the headset without associating it with the iPhone. Unlike the Apple Watch, the headset can instantly connect to iCloud and download all of your vital information. Nonetheless, users may choose to attach the headset to the iPhone to utilize the software keyboard on the smartphone because air typing isn't up to par. Apple is expected to improve in-air typing after the public launch of the headset. Apple's depth sensing hardware. Apple has already made significant investments in camera arrays that can perceive the environment both up close and at a distance. The front-facing true depth camera, which Apple has used on every Face ID iPhone since the X, is similar to a scaled-down version of the Microsoft Kinect and can scan a few feet away while detecting 3D data with sufficient accuracy to be used for a safe face scan. Recent iPads and iPhones from Apple include LiDAR technology that can scan out several meters farther. Glasses would require that range. The current LiDAR technology from Apple, when paired with cameras, is already capable of scanning surroundings and 3D things. It appears that the depth scanning that Apple is offering might eventually have global aspirations when combined with the wider scale LiDAR scanning that Apple is undertaking in maps to enable overlays of real-world places with virtual items via a technique called location anchors. When will Apple's 8 VR headset launch? Apple is planning to introduce its mixed reality headset at its worldwide developers conference in June, following the most recent round of software-related delays. Nevertheless, it won't be until much later in the year when the item is released. While the first-generation headgear has had several delays, the business is still working on the replacement model. The first-generation Reality Pro headset will reportedly feature a second processor for AR VR computing in addition to Apple's M2, which currently powers the 2022 MacBook Air and 2023 Mac Mini. Yet at the moment, the processor's graphics performance falls short of Apple's expectations. German claims that just two individuals may be on a FaceTime conversation at once, enabling realistic VR. Due to these restrictions, gaming will not be the primary emphasis of Apple's initial AR VR headset. Apple is attempting to use a more potent processor for the Real Pro 2 to improve performance. Apple is still working on a more economical device with a less expensive display and a slower CPU in addition to the high-end model. Launching in late 2024 or early 2025, that version might pave the path for wider acceptance. So that's it for today. What do you think of our video? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to hear more from us, please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications before you go. Thank you for watching.